And I'm a big Notre Dame fan because I love that Disney movie, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> Ring the that's bell. Right, that's Ring right. the bell. That's my favorite team, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Improving Business on Web Talk Radio, where business and personal finance take a front row seat. This is Brandon. And I am Rick. And today we'll be talking about leadership, avoiding the four horsemen of bad strategy. Today we're going to be talking about leadership. It will be the first of a two-part series on how to be a good leader of your company. Today we'll be focusing on the strategy part of being a good leader, and then the next broadcast we'll be talking about equipping your employees to implement your strategy. Both of these are very important in being a good leader of your company. We'll be using as a framework Good Strategy, Bad Strategy by Richard Wommelt, which is a good book that I recommend that you may want to get on what are good strategies and what are bad strategies. In his book, he speaks about four aspects of bad strategy. But what we're going to do in our story today is we're going to compare these to the four horsemen. Now you may be thinking we're talking about the four horsemen of the apocalypse out of the book of Revelation, but really we're going to be using another application of those four horsemen, which are the four horsemen of the Notre Dame football team during the 1920s. Actually, my favorite part about it is it's the four horsemen of Notre Dame and the seven mules, which are the linemen and and that's got to that's got to be harsh as a lineman to be compared to a mule. <laughs> these these people are horsemen. They're like men and horses. Well, and which is worse, a mule or a donkey? And which one is is neutered or? Uh, no, the I think mule mules are sterile. Oh, I guess it would they're be not bad. neutered. They're <laughs> that's right, sterile. Yeah, <laughs> that would be bad. I remember as a little boy watching a movie about Newt Rockney. Now, some of you may not know who Newt Rockney is, but he was a legendary uh, football coach. For Notre Dame. Now, Mr. Rockney uh, developed a lot of different things in football as a leader. Uh, one of the things that he developed more and more was the forward pass. Another thing is he developed something called the platoon system, which that he would have a backup starting lineup. So he would start the game with maybe a starting lineup that was not so great or let's say one a half a step below the first one, and he would, we would substitute them, the, the better guys in, when, when the other people shocked them. And so it was a constantly changing of the guard throughout the game that kept the defense off kilter. Yeah, and tired them out. I mean, if, they, if they're if they spending all their effort against the first few not as good ones, then you bring in your stars afterwards. It's it, the closer, right? Right, and any any coach for any sport would love to have Two starting lineups yeah. that you can interchange throughout the game. What Newt had was a star backfield. Four people would be quarterback, halfbacks, fullback, that would uh, terrorize the defense of any team they played. And they were nicknamed the Four Horsemen. And in addition to that, they were called uh, famine, pestilence, destruction, and death. <laughs> I would... I don't know which is the worst one to be there. Uh, famine. I would say famine. Yeah, that's that's true. Death would be if you're out of shape, I guess, right? Well, I was just <laughs> going to say, you know, like, that's intimidating. Yeah, it's yes. Like, Not destruction? Destruction's intimidating. No, I'm saying <laughs> famine is the least intimidating. What, uh, what was the other? What was the fourth one? Famine, pestilence, destruction, and death. Pestilence is pretty scary. Yeah, it's pretty but scary. But famine too. is like, it's like a slow, it's like a slow one. Yeah. Uh, Right. You have to be the yeah. the slowest of the, I don't know. Yes, you just mull over people. But you know what, what Newt Rockney did is he developed this very interesting concept called the, sh- 